everyone. For today's card, I'm going to show you, show you how to create a card that it, you can make using your Craft Robo completely from scratch. This is from, you know, design to cutting to putting the card together. And to do that, I'm going to use the Silhouette Studio software. Um, this works with both the Silhouette machine and the Craft Robo machines because they are actually the same machine. They're just sold under different names in different countries. Um, so what I need to do is I've opened up an Untitled, um, so this is an, a new document in Silhouette Studio and the first thing I'm going to do is create a rectangle. Now I've just drawn any size rectangle, it doesn't matter, you don't need to get this precise because what you can do is resize it using this icon just up here. And if you just go down to these specified dimensions, um, I know I need it 105 centimeters by 14.8 which is the size of a, um, an A6 card blank. So that's the exact size rectangle that I need and I know that's right now. Next thing I need to do, I need to create a rectangle that's ever so slightly smaller than this. So instead of trying to draw one that's exactly correct, what I'm going to do is make this software work for me. So I've selected the rectangle that I know is the size of the card blank and I'm going to this button here, which is the offset button. And what I want to do, I want to create an internal offset, because so I want this rectangle to be smaller. Um, I want the offset to be 0.4 centimeters, and I want the corners to be sharp, not round. So then I can just hit apply. And as you can see here, now it's created something with a perfect 0.4 centimeter border all of the way around my original rectangle that I created. So I can just pop this original A6 size rectangle to one side because I don't need it for now. I'm going to work with this one. Next up what we need to do is go to the library. So I just go to file, my library and then in recent downloads I've downloaded this background lace circle um, from the Silhouette website and to put this into my project you just need to double click and that inserts it into the project. Okay, so what I need to do is just to line up this rectangle on over the circle, the lacy circle background, until I'm happy with the placement. And the idea is that all of this um, lacy circle background around the, the edge of this uh, rectangle is going to disappear. I'm going to cut it all away. And to do that, what I need to do is just to highlight it all. So I'm just dragging a marquee over, over both. Try that again, it didn't work. You can see then I have two boxes. So they're both selected. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then what I need to do is go to this, this little icon up here with the M on it. And this is the modify um, option. And what I need to do is hit the subtract button. And this will just remove all of this around the edge, just like that. And so now I know that when I've got my card base, this is going to be cut out just perfectly with a frame around it. That's what I'm aiming for. Okay, just so this doesn't um, get a bit skewed when I'm moving it around, what I'm doing is selecting all of the circles in that pattern and then hitting Control G. And that will just group them all together so I can't accidentally just move one circle to the side. The whole thing is together in one place. And I'm just going to set this aside now and work on this A6 rectangle that I started with. Okay, so first of all, what I need to do is select this rectangle, copy it, which is Control plus C, and then paste it, which is Control plus V. And then just move this to one side because I'm going to need that, that um, exact rectangle later and it just saves me creating another one from scratch. Then I've got this one and what I need to do is select the one that's on my artboard and then go to this funny little icon here, which is the replicate icon. And what I want to do is create the full card base now. So I'm just going to duplicate this rectangle to the right. And this has created my full card base. And this line down the middle here is where I would need to score. However, this is cutting software. So if there's a line, it's going to cut it. I don't want my card base to be cut in half. So what I need to do is to select them both by dragging my marquee around them. Then going to this um, modify um, icon here and just hitting weld. And as you can see now, that's removed that line from down the middle. So that's just going to cut my card base exactly how I need it. Okay, again, I can move this up to the side and just work on this one again. 
I forgot to show I forgot to show you another step that I need to add in here. What I'm going to do is just to create a little um, border across here that I can write my uh, sentiment on. And to do that, I obviously need something to write on. And at the moment, these are all holes and gaps and everything. So what I'm going to do is, is just create this little rectangle border. And that rectangle needs to be... Um, I forgot to select it. It needs to be two, two centimetres high. So just apply that. And then what I need to do is just to line it up where I want it. I'm going to go with about there, then select all of those again, go to my modify, and then hit subtract. And as you can see now, it's cut away all of those circles that were here, leaving me with an area to um, stamp on or stick something to or whatever. Now again, what I'm going to do is just to select all of those and hit Ctrl G, which groups them together as one piece. So next what I need to do, if you remember this um, A6 card blank that I created, the rectangle, what I need to do is line these up perfectly together. So to do that I'm going to go to this icon here, which is the align um, icon, and align them centre and align them middle. So now you can see that this is perfectly um, sit, sits perfectly onto that card blank. And what I'm going to do is just again group these, so that's Control and G. And then I can start building this card base completely. I'm not going to spend time trying to line these up. I'm literally just going to highlight them all. Go to this align button and align them right and align them middle. And this puts um, this exactly um, square to the base card. Now again, any line you can see here is going to be cut by the craft robber, so I need to remove this line here, otherwise my card base is going to be cut in half. Um, so what I need to do is just right click on this object, click ungroup, click away from it all, and then click back onto this rectangle which you've now um, removed from the group, and then just hit delete. And then what you can do is just highlight it all again, and then hit group. And that is your card base completed. And you know this, when you fold this card exactly down the halfway line, you know this is going to have a perfect border because you've set it all up and centralised it properly. So that is now done. Okay, next what I need to do is write my sentiment in this um, space here. So I'm going to select this font icon and click on the screen. And then write Valentine. Oops, Valent. Try again. Valentine. Um, this is in the font that I've chosen, which is Sunshine Poppy. But as you can see, it's a little bit too big. So what I'm going to do is um, change the sizes. Now I know that this um, can be no more than 1.8 centimeters high because I made that rectangle here 2.2 2 centimeters high. So I'm going to change the height here to 1.8. Click Lock Aspect Ratio, otherwise my font will get skewed, and then hit Apply. And as you can see, that then sits perfectly in the middle there. To finish off this card, what I want to do is go to File, My Library, and I want to search for Heart. So I just type in Heart here, and then hit Enter. This is the Heart I want to use, so I'm just going to double click, and there it is. Way too big at the minute, so again we go here and I want it to be six centimeters wide. Again, lock the aspect ratio and then hit apply. And then that's gonna sit on my card just there. It's gonna be raised off with three dimensional stickers. So what I need to do now is just move the heart to the side, move the Valentine text also to the side, and then just cut this in my base stock card color, cut this in my other another card stock color, and cut this in the same card stock color as the heart. I'll then show you how I build the card in another video which I will link to in the top right hand corner just here. See you then, bye!